I grew up in Cornwall, I grew up in St Ives, I've walked the cliff paths my entire life. There's so much to see around West Cornwall as well, it's never ending. Just walk over a headland, there's a new view. I could go out and paint somewhere else, but I don't think my heart would really be in it. My name is Seb West, I'm 43 years old and I've been a professional full-time artist for about 22 years. What do I enjoy about being an artist? Well, a sense of freedom. I can, I can work when I want, I'm not working to deadlines. It's nice, you know, just coming into work and thinking, what am I gonna paint today? You know, it's, it's different every day. I've been working in my current studio for about four years now. Having a studio out in the middle of nowhere is great, really. You know, if I'm in the middle of a painting, I wanna have a look at the sea, I walk to the top of the lane, see what color it is today, you know. You look at the clouds, they're there all the time. It's all around me, so it's, it's always a constant source of inspiration. I never decided to become a painter. It sort of, it's one of those occupations, I think, that chooses you rather than you choosing it. Uh, in between jobs, I just started painting a bit on the side and then put some work in a gallery and it started to sell. And slowly over time, I realised I wasn't going out looking for work, I was just painting. And um, I started to make a living out of that on its own. I have no idea why so many artists come to St Ives really. I was born here and for me it's home. I prefer to walk to work. It just gives me a bit of a breather before I start, lets me get my head in the right space. And also walking through that lovely landscape is a real inspiration, it really starts my day off the right way. The studio I'm in now used to be a milking parlour, part of a, a range of barns that the owners are slowly converting into studios. It's a lovely big airy space, always light even on the dullest day. Natural light is, if you paint and you haven't got natural light, the colours you're putting down aren't right. You know, when you do see them in natural light, they look completely wrong. Um, one of the best things is having lots of space, to, lots of different areas to work. So I've got a big flat table in the middle for prepping and finishing work on, and uh, two separate painting areas. So if I'm working on something and waiting for it to dry, I can start prepping my next picture or you know, start, start working on something else, which is great because there's nothing worse than spending all day watching paint dry. Ah, the gallery in St Ives, that's, um, that's a sticky one. <laughs> I believe the gallery now is a fudge shop. I'm not going to comment on whether that's a good thing for St Ives or not. I think there's probably too many galleries anyway. Don't know if there's too many fud shops. About four years ago, I moved to a big gallery in Fourth Street. This was my final goal, it's where I've always been aiming. I was there for four years, very happy. And then, then in the middle of the recession, we got a letter from landlord's agent saying our rent was going to go up 25% and he was going to backdate it a year. That basically was my earnings for the previous year. I'd worked all year for nothing. We tried to fight it, but it was very difficult because there's always someone willing to pay more in St Ives. So we thought long and hard and we moved out and, and now we're based in the studios and sell mainly on the internet. All I know is the guy bought the lease off me and um, made me quite happy about it. <laughs> I think the best bit of job is getting out to the countryside and, and I can do that a lot more now having got a gallery. It's, it's great not being tied to that. Whenever the weather's good I have a drawing kit sort of already assembled so I can just throw it in the back of the van and drive off somewhere. I do a lot of walking out on the coast and sort of do reckeys to find spots that I haven't painted new places. Try to get out at different times of day when the light's different. I often drag my family out on weekends. 
I, I, I say to them, should we go for a nice walk in the country? I always get questioned because it often ends up as an ordeal where we end up in the middle of a swamp or, or something. It sometimes gets a bit of a pain when you lug a big toolkit full of paints for two miles and it chucks down with rain, you have to walk back again. But you always get something out of it. I'd say it's my, my favourite part really is getting out into the countryside with a sketch pad and sitting drawing and sort of daydreaming a bit of how this painting is going to turn out. I quite, quite often go out to the same spot four or five times and draw and do little quick studies to try to get a feel of the place. When I do a big landscape, I'm not trying to do a view of it as it was on one day, it's trying to get a feel of the whole place. And quite often I try to sort of combine bits of each drawing so the weather's sort of a bit inconsistent sometimes in the paintings, but I quite like that. Sometimes I take a kit with me and do some studies on my first visit though more often than not it's just a sketch pad. Then I might come back a couple of weeks later or a few days later uh, with a, some boards primed and the paints and do a couple of quick studies on the spot. Palette knife studies I usually do. I quite often go back to my studio and decide to expand the drawing and to include more foreground or more sea, so I'll go back and do another drawing and, and work from that as well. bumped into a guy who runs a big exhibition space and he told me it was empty for two weeks in August and it was cancelled so I went straight around and paid for it on the spot. This exhibition is really important for me because I, th I feel I've dropped off the radar a bit for the public. It's been a slow progress and I think not having a shop it's easy to sort of disappear from people's consciousness. The piece I'm about to start I think is going to be the most important piece for the exhibition because this is the one that my direction hinges on. If it works, then I'm going to carry on with this style and probably produce only work in this style for the exhibition. If this one doesn't really come together, then I've got to have a rethink about what I'm going to do. The new, new style I'm developing uses spray paints, inks, paint, lots of different techniques. I'm, I'm using a pen sometimes. I try not to approach everything in the same way. I try to take a drawing or a study and think about how I'm going to produce the finished piece from that. I'm trying to capture the feeling of a landscape rather than a, a, a strict landscape painting. Some bits are detailed, some bits aren't. I, I sort of started thinking about how you look at a landscape and you don't focus on the whole thing at once, you focus on little areas. Quite often your eyes drawn to the distance and quite often something in the foreground. first one we bought must be got to be 10 years ago I thought yeah it's got to be that sort of length of time uh, I think I've been collecting now since 1998 uh, yeah 19 so 14 years I guess because um, since we've known him we've seen him go through various phases and, and, and many different styles and he, the majority of them appeal to us he's, he's got a sort of modern feel to some of his work and uh, yeah, traditional feel to some of the other pieces of work as well, but we just like the variety of styles, I think. Very graphic, very colourful, and being three-dimensional, they're really good. That cuteness and that, you, you just want to look at it and touch it, but of course, if you touch it too often, you'll, you'll rub the paint off. <laughs> <laughs> That's still my favourite. Uh, I just love the way it's got the whole aspect of the St. Ives Bay, the Saint, and... Uh, you know, the whole part and the sort of the places of the town and the way it goes through the night and day aspects, it's really coolly done. This piece has to be our favourite. This is the piece we actually commissioned from Seb. We first met him in 95 and loved what he was doing with lino prints, which is quite a unique take on a lino print. I've never seen anyone else do this before. Um, and we commissioned this piece, we sat and talked to him about all our favourite landmarks in St Ives that we wanted to be involved in it and um, it, it came out, it's really a successful uh, piece of work, it's, it's vibrant, it's small but it's still very powerful and it says everything to us about St Ives. So.
Plus the fact that that's supposed to be our son flying his kite on the island, which uh, mm. is a sort of personal touch which we like. He's a parent of uh, a child here, and as a consequence, um, it seemed like a sensible thing for us to do when we were commissioning a new logo to go with a new uniform, that actually we took on board uh, a design that he had offered to do for us. So um, we were very happy with what he did with us, and, uh, and I think it actually reflects quite well the work that he does on other pieces in the town. I think with the new piece I have actually achieved everything I set out to. It's, um, I'm really pleased with it. The detail's working well. I'm really happy with the sky. Um, the reflections on the sea. It, it all seems to have come together at the last minute, which is, is nice, really. When, you, when you're working on something and it's, it's all sort of up in the air, and you're using different techniques and, and have no idea how the finished piece is going to look. There's nothing better than it all coming together right at the end. I think this is definitely a direction I want to pursue. Um, still don't know if I'm brave enough to put only this kind of work in the exhibition. Must have to do a couple more and see. Hope it doesn't get my rubbish now. <laughs> <laughs> What's in store in the future? I really don't know. I've I've always had these goals set. You know, I've always wanted a gallery, and then had this I dream of having a gallery in Fourth Street, and I kind of had that taken away in a way, um, which has ended up being a good thing. But now I'm just going to paint. <laughs> I'm just going to keep painting. I think for the future, I'm just going to keep painting, um, trying different things, and look to hold as many exhibitions as I can, really. One or two a year would be ideal. So, yes, I'll definitely always be an artist. Um, it's not the sort of job you retire from either. I'll, I'll be painting till the day I drop. Uh, whether I go further afield or not with my paintings, I don't know, but I, I think I'll always be painting Cornwall.